What's up world? It's your boy Carol B back again for another video. Well, today um, I want to share something for the young black men out there. Because if anything, I make my videos to want to inspire and speak to the young black men in America. You know, recently I've been having, uh, the past couple of nights I've been having dreams about my two uncles on my mother's side of the family and or my father. And based on how the dreams turned out, um, I've had a couple days to think about some of them. Last, last night's dream was pretty clear. I understood that pretty clearly. <clears throat> but, uh, it just spoke to me in the sense that, uh, now that I'm moving forward and making the necessary changes in my life that I want to make for myself to be a better man. Um, I have to let go of anger and let go of the past. Um, the reason why I feel like I have to let go of the past is because looking back on when I reflect on where I may have gone wrong in my life. I tend to think about not what, not what people did to me, but I tend to think about the lack of male influence, older, elder, the, la uh, the lack of older male influence that I had in my life growing up. See, I have my two uncles my mother's brothers, but one of them was in and out of prison all the time. And then the other barely came around because he was a player, if you will. Wasn't very good at it. But need, needless to say that neither one of them was around for me to ask questions as I grew into a teenage boy as I grew into my adult years and I and I tend to think that the reason why I'm the reason why I'm having dreams about them recently is because before I left LA the tension was very thick between me and both of them you know uh, they were the type of uncles that, you know, if I back talk to my mother, they would come to her defense and, oh, we'll put hands on you and things like that. And as a teenage boy, you know, I have no choice but to take it, you know, and learn from it. But as an adult, as I got older and as an adult, I wasn't about to have that. To make a long story short, I wasn't about to have that. So tension got the tension was very thick between me and my uncles to the point where I have no more respect for them. And I say that I, I have no more respect for them. I say that in a respectful way because I I uh, because I've always known myself to be if for one, I would listen to my elders. If you're saying something to me that resonates to me, uh, I will listen. You know, I wasn't as hard headed as as people may have thought or as my channel continues to grow. 
the stories that I share, you know, I wasn't as hard headed as I appeared to be, but um, neither one of them, you know, sat me down and talked to me like a young man, like a little man. You know what I'm saying? It was always scolding or physical threats and things like that. And like I said, as a teenager, it's like, okay, I understand that. You know, I'm a kid. But as an adult, I'm not about to just have any old person put their hands on me and things like that. No. Just no. But my point is that that I don't have, I lose respect for men who aren't who who aren't setting an example for the next generation you know i remember certain conversations with OGs in my old neighborhood in LA and they was telling me that you know as i got to be 26 27 28 years old you know hey youngster this is your time you know, the youngsters is starting to look up to you now. Sooner or later, they're going to be calling you, sir. And you got to be talking to them the way we talking to you. And I heard what they were saying to me. You know, they wasn't yelling or fussing or scolding or anything like that. They was just simply talking to me as a young man. And I respected that. Not only did I respect that, but I took it in. I soaked in that knowledge and today specifically particularly today I realized you know for one I uh, I realized that I find myself talking more like as if I'm like 50 60 years old you know calling younger boys you know hey young man or things like that you know but all jokes aside it just tells me that, that, you know, the younger generation, as I continue to get older, there's a lack of older men who strive, who actually want to be a role model for the next generation. You know, we're so focused on getting our money or getting this bitch or getting this car whatever the case may be and we're not focused on what type of example am I setting on my little brother on my son on this young cat that's looking up looking up to me because of whatever he may like and see something that I'm doing but let me try to school sit him down and school him on you know, the A's and B's, the one, two, threes on how life should work and how you should carry yourself and what you should do with your life as you grow into a man. See, today at work, I've learned a valuable lesson in that, you know, I, in order for me to be the entrepreneur that I want to be, that I want to become, I have to work on my leadership skills and that will be and that does mean uh, me speaking up and not only me speaking up, but how I speak up, you know, just because I'm talking to somebody that's younger than me, I don't have to demean them or talk down to them or talk over them, you know, but speak to them, speak to to them with respect, uh, with accordingness, um, and just try to make sure that I'm speaking to the level in which they understand, depending on the type of person that I'm talking to. See, as young black men, a lot of us come, especially a lot of us coming from the hood, coming from the ghettos. You know, a lot of us didn't have our fathers around, 
And a lot of us, like my story, didn't have, you know, our uncles was around, but they was out doing their own things. And, you know, we had to learn on our own how to be, uh, how to, what it means to be a man. Rather it be right or wrong, rather we learn from our mistakes. But a lot of the, a lot of that was on the fly learning for ourselves. And I just know that for me at age 31, um, I'm, I care about setting an, an example for the next generation of young black males that's coming up, you know, the street life, it does get old after a while. I can't tell you, I cannot tell y'all, I cannot tell y'all how many times, how many older cats I done talked to in my life. And like I said, I'm 31 years old and I've talked to a number of older cats who have told me about day days of running the streets. And a lot of older cats that I talked to came up during the start of the crack epidemic. So a lot of them had their stories about them making money and they was doing this, they was buying this, and they was going here, they was going there. And for the most part, nine out of ten, ninety percent of those cats, I got a lot of respect for them. But and they kept it real with me. They didn't have shit to show for all the good and fun times that they had. They was broke, run down, you know, very, very few of them, you know, made something of themselves, you know, a good family, good house, you know, retirement, whatever the case may be. A lot of them was run down. Uh, And what I mean by run down, you know, strong on alcohol, uh, you know, barely scraping to get by, things like that. And, um, like I said, listening to older cats keep it real with themselves and talk to me as the youngster, as they youngster, you know, I, I, I soaked up that knowledge. And even though I didn't put it to use right then and there, you know, in this second opportunity that I have in my life, um, I think about that shit all the time. So, like I said, I, I care to want to set an example for young black males out here in the world. That's the reason why I'm going to keep on doing my videos. That's the reason why I'm going to continue to build my channel. Uh, and I hope that we can bring more attention to more black men hopping on YouTube, sharing their stories with the next generation so that they can learn because because going out going outside of our house, going in the streets, a lot of older cats, a lot of how can I say this? A lot of a lot of guys my age, who still may be in the streets, like in their early to mid thirties, they don't care about, most of them don't care about wanting to set an example or teach or try to groom the next generation. You know, they just trying to have young cats follow them just for the show of it, just for the fuck of it. And, uh, and they don't realize that they may be leading young black males down a bad, down the wrong path, a path that they they themselves shouldn't be going down. But uh, most times, black males coming from the hood, we ain't got no no other choice but to do what we have to do and learn how what it means to be a man on the fly. So. As I, like I said, as I continue to grow my channel, I will continue to share my stories. But all in all, I, I, I strive 
to want to set an example, not just on YouTube, but in my everyday life, when I'm not recording a video, I care to set an example for the next generation of young black males that's coming up in this world. If no matter if you're age 10, 12, if you're age 16, 17, you know, I'm here to want to help. And I want other I want other black males, older black males to get on YouTube and share their stories for the next generation coming up. We got to we got to help ourselves. We got to help each other. We got to help our people. That's what I strive for. And I'm not going to stop anytime soon. That's my message for today.